So I'm ready. I have my Ethernet cable, uh, not the Ethernet cable, uh, the SATA cable, uh, my this and everything. I was hoping to install it over here. These are nice caddies. They, are, they come out from here like this and you can install the SSD on, onto them. All you have to do is just screw them in and they work pretty good. So again, you can put them in here and then you can put that back. So it's pretty nice, decent. <clears throat> SSD are good, they're very fast. So let's get started with this baby. So here's the Samsung SSD, oops, right there. Pretty small. So I like this one, it's a one terabyte. And the reason I will like Samsung where I prefer it uh, because the read write speed, all of them, uh, they give you a burst. But burst is the first few seconds. The constant that the, when you put it under pressure or under heavy load, that's when this matters. So Samsung has uh, very good reviews. That's why I always go with them or try to go with them. So you can see right here, if I can show you. So this big one, 15 bit connector, uh, L shape, that's your power. And this one, the seven pin L shape connector, that's your SATA cable, the data cable. So you have to connect them. So I'm going to show you one of the power adapter here that I have. So if you can see right there, if it's shaped enough, you can see that notch right here on this side. That's the L shape. So that goes in. So you, it, there is no way you can uh, insert it wrong way or you can uh, insert the power cable in turn into data cable because they are different uh, pins. It's a nice safety feature. So with computers, you don't have to really push hard. A gentle uh, pushing is enough. So I'm going to install it in here now. So I want to mention something. My uh, uh, SSD is in, but you can see these two. Uh, if you have an M.2 stick, uh, you on this particular motherboard and it could be universal for others uh, these two the very easy to get one will not work then they get reserved for the um, m.2 so you have the there are four separate ones that are very hard to get you have to remove this uh, uh, graphic cards and you have to remove the stick uh, this uh, sport and then un unless otherwise you are you have like you can find a way but there are four to access all four of them you have to go through the steps of removing the graphic card and this oh my graphic card it needs cleaning all right so let's uh, go to the next step where we're gonna power this one up i'm, I'm gonna clean this and then i'm gonna power this up and then um we're gonna check if um it detects my ssd and does it detect my ram hopefully it does and i don't have to go through trial and error Alright, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.